25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Cyrus Rex. Everyone is go. Standing by for launch. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of United Launch Alliance's Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Osiris Rex. It's seven-year mission to boldly go to the asteroid venue and back. During the voice of Marty Malinowski, the Atlas has begun a pitch and yaw maneuver to steer to its planned path. 28.5 degrees inclination from the equator. SRB chamber pressure is almost plateaued at this point. Thank you. Thank Seconds of the flight. Hold the program is complete. Boosters throttle down. And Lock the one. Atlas rocket carrying Osiris Rex has gone supersonic. Standing by to pack, pass through Max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q, vehicle moderates continue to look good. This is the point when the mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak and because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 14 miles. Downrange distance is 9 miles. Current velocity 2,488 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing down the middle of the range. In about 30 seconds, the look good. single speed. solid rocket booster will be jettisoned at 2 minutes 19 seconds. And booster has throttled back down. It's now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next major event will be SRB Jettison, coming up momentarily. And, and you see the solid rocket booster Jettison. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled, closed loop, Q Alpha steering. RD-180 RD. engine continues powering the Atlas, Centaur, and Osiris Rex into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Four minutes and two seconds into flight. Has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude, 40 miles. Downrange distance, 75 miles. Current velocity, 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Atlas booster engine cutoff. Already burn well. Pump speeds and check the pressures within band. Vehicle body rates look good. Vehicle's now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment momentarily. And we have begun throttling to maintain 5Gs. Signatures look good. Boost phase cooldown is underway. And begun to throttle to 4.6 Gs in preparation for Pico. Boost phase cooldown is complete. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. Booster engine cutoff confirmed. Standing by. after and spacecraft separation, separation for the Centaur single RL-10C engine to ignite. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Coming up on payload frame jettison. Everything uh, continuing normally. 
the Centaur engine producing 22,900 pounds of thrust and it will burn for just over eight minutes.